Now one of the cool things about doing what I do is I'm not always told that I'm going to be sent products. So occasionally I'll just get a nice little surprise through the post with a, an email asking me if I'll review their product. Recently I got sent something from a company called Switronics Incorporated in the United States in New York. Um, and if you like GoPros like me, I absolutely love these little cameras. Um, I've used everything from the GoPro 1, GoPro 2, the HD Hero 3. Um, and obviously now the 4's out, I'll be getting one of those. Um, these are fantastic little video cameras. They, they've just got so much of a fun factor, so much, uh, so many features and usability. I've used them for loads of things. I've used them for weddings, I've used them for uh, filming cars, motorbikes. Um, if I'd have had these when I was skydiving, I'd have used those, because in those days we used to use SLRs on the head. So these are just fantastic little, little uh, gadgets. Now what this company have sent me are, I'll read it off their note actually. Um, it's a GoPro Hero 3 3 with 10 foot USB cable and USB AC adapter, and a GoPro to Hero 3 stroke 3 Plus regulator cable with 6 foot cigarette auto adapter. Now, what these do, they're very handy indeed. Now, if you've got a GoPro, um, or if you've had a GoPro in the past and you've got wound up by the fact that the power doesn't last long, then you're going to love this product. Now, with this camera, with the, the three, this is the GoPro um, HD Hero 3, the biggest issue is that the battery will only last for about an hour. Now you can spend what, 50, 60, 70 pounds to have an extra battery pack put on the back, um, but for me that's a pain. Um, I, I don't really like the idea of spending more money on that power. So what I actually did was actually bought more batteries. Um, so I've got three other batteries that I can use with this. So when the battery runs low, I can change it, but it means changing it every hour or so which again is a real pain, especially if you're using, this has got 4K video, if you're using 4K or faster frame rates, then your battery's gonna run out a lot quicker. And that's a pain. So with this and this new product here, and I'm gonna show you what it does, it means you can have almost infinite power for your GoPro, but you do have to be tethered up. Now, like I said, I've used this um, on a motorbike and this will work in that situation. It'll work in a church if I was filming part of a wedding. Anything where I'm not really going underwater um, or in a real extreme environment, I think this will work. Obviously it doesn't work underwater, but there isn't a solution for that, but I won't go into that in this video. But this is a great solution if you wanna use GoPros scattered about the place and have kind of almost unlimited power. If I take the actual battery out of the GoPro, the original one, just pull that out. And what you've got on this unit is a typical USB kind of um, powering cable. Um, which goes into most devices, into your computer, your laptop, or one of these, which I'm gonna to come to in a second. And then you've got the battery shaped bit here that goes into the back of the camera. So it's exactly the same shape and the same size as the, as the battery. So all you do is literally put that in like so, click it into place, and that is now attached to the GoPro, okay? So it's pretty safe, pretty secure. And if you've got the cage, um, or the, the frame, I should say, the frame works better with this because obviously I can't now put this back in its housing and get this off because if I did then the, the cable's going to get snagged and caught so this won't close now but there is a solution to that if you've either got the the um, the open case for this or if you've got the cage then this will work now the beauty of this of, of how it works is you can now run this either from your computer from your laptop or if you've got an external battery pack like this, this is the Anker Astro, I think it's the 15,000. Uh, I think it's the 14,000. So this is 14,000 mAh. This battery I think is 1,050 mAh. So that's a very small battery. This is 14 times the power of this battery. So in theory, if this lasts one hour, this should last around 14 hours. So all you need to do is plug this into one of the USB ports at the top it's already switched on, and then if we switch the camera on, it's gonna fire up, and I can now run this for hours. So let's just say I wanted to do a whole day's worth, 12 hours worth of time lapse using this, it's just gonna keep running and running and running. I'll come up with a little sign there, says okay. So now we're fully charged, and uh, you can see on there that the, the battery is ready to go. So if you think about this, you can use this camera now in any sort of situation. If you have this attached to your chest on a chest mount, then you could have a battery pack. Now, these come in smaller sizes as well. I've got a 5,600 mAh uh, battery pack, which will, it's about 
maybe a third of the size of this so that could then it's got a fairly long cable I think I said it was 10 meters was it or three meters uh, one of them's 10 foot sorry and one six foot so this is a six foot cable a uh, 10 foot cable so this would easily if you had a smaller battery pack go inside your jacket if you've got a, a chest mount on uh, if you're riding a motorbike and then you'd have this on the chest mount battery pack lasts for hours not just one hour I'm going to be testing this fairly soon on using that technique uh, you could also attach it to your car um, you know you, you can think of many different ways but this will now power this for, for a long long time you can have the tripod set up the camera set up on a tripod doing time lapses knowing that after an hour you haven't got to go back and change the battery absolutely brilliant I love this it's such a cheap and simple device and again you can see the prices on the actual review down below uh, there's a link to the um, to the full review um, below this video if you're watching on YouTube if you're watching on all things photography then you can see it in the review below now that works brilliantly so that will run off a battery pack or your computer or your um, or your uh, laptop and then you get a second device here which works in exactly the same way you can see you've got the same battery attachment there but this one will run from your car charger so if you like to do a lot of um, in-house car filming um, then obviously you can plug this into your um, uh, cigarette lighter charger sorry cigarette lighter and this will then run for, for a long long time don't know if you know but the GoPros have a, a feature where you can just keep rolling uh, five minutes I think it is worth of footage or you can set it to adjust so every five minutes it will re overwrite that footage so that's for if you get into an accident so it'll just keep overwriting the last five or 15 minutes of footage so if you have an accident then obviously you can stop recording and you know you've recorded that that incident and if it's plugged into your charger then it's just going to keep going forever because you've got infinite power going to that so I think these are great um, if you like GoPros and you like a bit of power for them and you don't want to keep changing or buying new batteries then go for one of these very cheap very simple very easy to use and also I'd recommend any of the anchor power packs and again I'll have a link to, to this um, to the a it's the 5 600 I'll give you a link to those those power packs below so check it out if you like GoPros like lots of power then I'd recommend get one of these they're only a few pounds